Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the 2022 SBA First Year Player Draft Lottery Slash Waiver Picks. Now, this is going to be all decided by a random wheel selection, uh, as we've explained a little bit, and we'll get to it here in just a second. The draft is going to consist of six teams. Each team will have three picks throughout the draft, which means 18 of the 23 players will get drafted. What happens to the other five that don't get drafted? Again, we'll explain a little bit further, but basically they will go into what is the waiver picks. And we'll explain that a little bit. But first, let's go to the draft lottery wheel. And as we can see right here, these are the six teams that will be involved in the league. To, well, at least they will be in the league as the 30 teams will be. But be, these are the six teams that have an owner currently, hence why they are the six that are being chosen as the six teams to draft. So the, we will go in order from the first team that gets selected whenever we click spin to the first team that gets landed on. They'll get six. The next team, five. Next team, four. Next team, three. And we do that all the way until we get to number one. And we will do the same thing with the waiver picks as well. But that is how we're going to do this. Also, just want to quickly remind you that tomorrow we will be unveiling the six logo and team names for these six teams right here in front of you. San Antonio, Richmond, Des Moines, Indy, Louisville, and Las Vegas. And all of those will be released exclusively through the Discord server. So if you have not done so yet, join the Discord so you can learn about these first six teams. And the other 24 will be released in the week after the draft, starting the day after the draft until opening day a week later. Those will again be released in the Discord server. So again, if you haven't joined, join already. The link for it is in the description down below. So be sure to join. And if you have joined, first off, thank you. Second off, get some friends to join the Discord. Why not? It's a great place to be. It's a great league to be in. It's a lot of fun coming up here with the Simulation Baseball Association and in the Global Simulation Sports Network. So without further ado, let's see who will be the number six pick in the inaugural 2022 SBA First Year Player Draft. And it's going to be Des Moines who will take over as the number six pick in the draft. So they will be the last pick of each round of all three rounds and the final pick of the draft. So let's go ahead and take them out. So now these five teams are left here to see who will be the number five pick in this year's draft. And looks like Louisville. Louisville will have the number five pick in this year's draft. Go ahead and remove them. Four more teams remaining. San Antonio, Richmond, Indy, and Las Vegas. Who will get the number four pick? Let's find out. And it looks like my San Antonio team will be the one to be the number four pick in the draft, which leaves us with Richmond, Las Vegas, and Indianapolis for the top three in the draft. Let's see where they go. And out to the Midwest we go as Indy will be the one picking third overall in the 2022 first year player draft. So now what's left is Las Vegas and Richmond. Now before we get things going, this won't be something we do 
every year more than likely, what will happen is it'll, starting the second season on, in that off season between the first and second season, when we do another draft, it'll go based off of record, just like the regular draft does. If we end up doing a draft lottery, wouldn't really make sense for baseball, but either way, that's how we're going to do it. So just wanted to fill that in, uh, fill that in for next season going on. But for right now, let's see who the number two pick will be in this year's SBA first year player draft. Las Vegas or Richmond? Who's it going to be? And this, the light shine bright in Las Vegas as they get the number two pick, which means Richmond will be your first pick in the 2022 SBA draft. They will have the first pick of each round. Again, it'll go one through six, no snake draft. And so the first pick for each round will be Richmond. Second pick for each round will be Las Vegas. Third for Indy. Fourth for San Antonio. Fifth for Des Moines. And the final pick of each round and the final pick of the draft will be for Des Moines. That will be the six teams in order drafting for this first ever draft. And now we go to the waiver wheel is what I call it. And the waiver wheel, the way this works is basically these 24 teams. These are the 24 teams that are not participating in the draft because there is no owner. What will happen is... We will pick five teams that will be spun, and whoever it lands on will be the five teams that will be in contention for the five players that are undrafted. Now, again, these will go in order. The first team that is landed on will be the number five team in the wire. In other words, that'll be the team that will get player number 23, and all again, all of these will be based on rankings. So let's say if a player is ranked number 12, for example, and falls out of the draft, they will go to the number one team on the waiver list because they are the highest ranking, as long as they are the highest ranking uh, prospect left, they will go to the number one team in the waiver wire. And so that is how things will go. So... Let's go ahead and spin and see who will be the number five team on the first year player draft waiver list. And it is Glendale, Arizona, who will be the number five team on the list. Go ahead and take them out. So now 23 teams remain for four spots. This is the best way to give everybody a fair shot, obviously. And the best way to allow all these teams to have a fair shot with landing one of the undrafted players. Sorry, having a little technical difficulty at the moment. There we go. So now the next team will be Durham. They will be number four on the wire. So now Durham taken off of the list. So now 22 teams left for the final three spots. In our waiver list, let's see who lands on it now. Montreal, we go north of the border. And that is who the number three team will be on the waiver list. So now two spots left to be picked between... Los Angeles, Charlotte, Grand Rapids, San Jose, St. Paul, Columbus, New Jersey, Buffalo, Portland, Orlando, Austin, San Diego, 
Lancaster, Chicago, Miami, Stanford, Albuquerque, Memphis, Brooklyn, Green Bay, Morgantown, and I think I said Los Angeles already. I'm pretty sure I did. Either way, those are all the teams left to fight for the final two spots. Now, if the city does not, if a city does not get picked, which there is a good amount of these cities who won't get picked, they will not have a draft pick. Instead, what will happen is we will take a free agent from we will take a player from the free agent list that fits a need for them, and we will sign them to that team. So that way they're still getting some kind of a player, some kind of a need fulfilled for that roster. So now let's see who the number two team is on the waiver wire. It's Brooklyn. Staying to the east side is Brooklyn. Will be the number two team on the waiver wire. Now let's see who the last team is. Only one spot remains for the waiver list. Again, whoever this team is gets the highest rated undrafted player at the end of the draft. So let's see who ends up as the number one waiver team in the SBA first year player draft of 2022. Oh, just barely skated over Green Bay. Will be the team with the top-rated prospect, undrafted prospect, in the waiver list. That is going to do it for us here for tonight. Again, tomorrow we will release the six teams, the logos and the team name for Des Moines, Louisville, San Antonio, Indy, Las Vegas, and Richmond. And then on draft night, we will unveil, on draft day, I should say, we will unveil the five that are on the waiver list. Glendale, Arizona, Durham, Montreal, Brooklyn, and Green Bay with all of the remaining cities as you see on the screen here, minus Green Bay. So Morgantown, Los Angeles, Charlotte, Grand Rapids, San Jose, St. Paul, Columbus, New Jersey, Buffalo, Portland, Orland, Orlando, Austin, San Diego, Lancaster, Chicago, Miami, Stanford, Albuquerque, and Memphis will all be announced starting the day after the draft up until opening day, and all of that will be released within the Discord for the Global Simulation Sports Network. So if you have not done so yet, join the Discord. Get a few friends to join the Discord. It's a great time, and we are just around the corner from opening day which will be on November 8th, just a little bit after the World Series is over. So that way, you aren't stuck with a baseball offseason without any kind of baseball action going on. You'll have the Simulation Baseball Association to help fill that need. Again, want to thank everybody for tuning in for tonight's Draft Lottery slash Waiver List Picks, and we will see you tomorrow night. For the official 2022 Simulation Baseball Association first year player draft. Good night, everybody.